So hello there and welcome back to the shed. Um, today we're going to have a look at Graxpert, the latest version, which boasts an improved AI for background extraction, but also, and more interestingly, now includes an AI for noise reduction. So what we really want to know is, does Graxpert measure up to noise exterminator? And today I'm going to try and show you, uh, with a few examples, how they stack up against each other. So without any further ado, let's go back to the desktop. So here we are uh, with Graxpert open. I, I downloaded it um, just around the installer and it overwrote the existing version I already have. Uh, that seemed to go fine. The other thing that did happen when I first started to use it is that when I tried to uh, apply background extraction and denoising for the first time, it did complain that the that I hadn't selected the AI model. Uh, when I went to do so and tried to run it again, it then said that the AI model wasn't installed, uh, but offered to download it and install it, which it did without any problem. And it, then it ran smoothly from then on. So just be warned that that will happen, but it does seem to deal with it pretty well. Okay, so first up, let's load up the first image, which is a C-star image of M51. This image has been cropped, um, but it's still got a little bit of field rotation showing. Uh, so we're just going to run the background extraction on that. And that was pretty effective. Then we go to denoising. We're going to pick a strength of 0.8, which is similar to what I will use on noise exterminator. Denoise the image. Pretty quick. And did a very nice job, I think, really. So just going back. And I will just zoom in on that a little bit for you. So I think that's a pretty good example. Uh, now we'll move on to a different image. And this one is going to be a Dwarf 2 image of the Horsehead Nebula. Uh, again, quite a noisy image uh, showing a little bit of field rotation um, and quite a bit of sort of walking noise, fixed pattern noise going on there. So let's see what we can do with that. So I'll run the background extraction first. And that did correct it a little bit. And then we'll run denoise at the same strength. Again, you know, big difference really. So it looks good. Just show you without with, without, with, just zoom in a bit so you can have a look. Without, with, without, with. This is pretty powerful on, on the face of it. This is, uh, to me, it looks pretty similar to Noise Exterminator. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison in a minute, but before I do that, let's just try one more image. So this image is a slightly different kind of image of the Horsehead Nebula. This one was shot with a Moravian G2 8300 CCD camera, monochrome, and an APM refractor. And it is quite challenging because it's less than an hour's worth of integration which is why it's pretty noisy and i have deliberately stretched it up a bit so that you can you know to really show uh, how, how much noise there is and also it shows up the gradient and that kind of thing um, so i think it's a pretty challenging image but there's actually a lot of detail in this image if we can get rid of the noise so first thing we'll do again is we'll run the background extraction and that actually did, 
did a really nice job. And then we'll go to the denoising, same strength. Yeah, massive difference. With that, with, with that, with denoising. And again, we'll just zoom in a little bit. With that, with, with that, with. And I think you can see that um, it really doesn't seem to have affected the detail to me. I think it's it has just removed a lot of noise and done it very efficiently by the looks of it. OK, well, so far so good. Coming up next, we're going to compare the Graxpert uh, denoiser to noise exterminator in PixInsight. So let's have a look at that. Anyway, that's about it for today. I hope you found that useful. Um, I think the new version of Graxpert is fantastic and the denoise module seems to work very well. So I think you're going to enjoy using it. But in the meantime, look after yourselves. I hope to see you again soon and bye for now.